So in this video, we're going to cover the setup of the active exhalation valve circuit for invasive use with the Vivo 55. So first part um, would be to set up your FiO2 sensor. Then we would need antibacterial filter here, which would then connect between your FiO2 sensor and the um, patient circuit here. So this is the active exhalation valve circuit um, that we use with the Vivo 55. So at the other end of the circuit then, we would have the end tidal CO2 monitor here. So that's monitoring the CO2 that's come from the patient's breath. Following that, we would then have another antibacterial filter. So as standard, you would generally only have one antibacterial filter in a patient circuit, but during the COVID-19 um, pandemic, we are advocating using two. One that's protecting the air going to the patient and one that's protecting the air coming from the patient as well. So then we have the catheter mount, so that will connect from the um, antibacterial filter to connect to the endotracheal tube. So now we're going to go through how you would assemble all these components together for to form a circuit for invasive ventilation. So to start with, we must assemble the FiO2 sensor. So I'll take the T-piece and the sensor, push those two together, and then connect the cable to the top of the device here. Then we have our first antibacterial filter. So these two connect as so, and connect like that. So that forms the one end of the circuit that would connect to the ventilator first. Then we have the end tidal CO2 connection here. So end tidal CO2 connection comes in two different parts. So we have the airway adapter as well as the sensor itself. And these two just click together like that. The sensor then sits in the patient circuit. This end of the circuit here connects into the yellow port on the side of the ventilator. So we've got the yellow wire there, so this is the yellow connection. We then have our next antibacterial filter, which sits on the end of the circuit there. And finally, we have our catheter mount there, which then attach to the endotracheal tube. So in this video, we've covered uh, how to set up the active exhalation valve circuit for use with an endotracheal tube. Just to go over kind of a couple of important points. So this is your active exhalation valve at the end of the circuit here. So make sure this little rubber tube is always connected to the side of the device. Always make sure to have two filters in the circuit when you're treating a patient with COVID-19. So we have one down at the device end of the um, one at the circuit and then one um, before the um, exhalation valve in the circuit, so just coming from the patient there. Another important thing to mention with the end tidal CO2 sensor is that it does come in two parts. One part is disposable um, and the other one is not. So we have the airway adapter here, that is single patient use and should be changed in between patients. We then have the sensor here, which is not single patient use and should just be cleaned in between patients.